saying things people already know out loud is tight. About a cadaver. You park in front of your house, I park in front of my house. This is... Hey! Truly delightful. Have we started already? Yeah, right. What's up, everyone? It's Adam from FWC. I, I didn't forget about the Bruce Jew people on my channel, my Bruce Jew viewers. I appreciate all of you. I always see Bruce Jew in like my highest viewed, like for the far, blah, 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 for the past 48 hour, like stat thing that I've got going on. And uh, it's been a while since I did one. And I definitely want to show some appreciation to you guys. So let's do a two-parter. Bruce Jew, the bat in the house. I know there's a part two for this. I can't wait to see both of them. I, while I was scrolling, Rolling through like looking for like a two-part series on this it made me realize I think every single title on every single video is something that piqued my interest and made me go oh I'll watch that one one day oh that one looks good like there's so many of them so if you love Bruce Jew you're in the right place because there's there's gonna be plenty of Bruce Jew in the future I plan on getting through all the videos to be honest because I love all of them Bruce Jew bat in the house is gonna be uh, Pattinson? Is it gonna be Batfleck? Is it gonna be fucking Michael Keaton? Is Michael Keaton in this one? All right, so over the years in my life, there's been plenty of times where some kind of wild animal gets inside my house and I gotta deal with it. And usually it's not a big deal. I've handled birds, chipmunks, those nasty rats that I had to assassinate with a BB gun. But what do you do if one of those rats- I haven't seen that. Start flying around your house all willy nilly. I'm talking about a goddamn bat. Nobody wants that in their house. But unfortunately, a few weeks ago, that's exactly what happened. One night my wife and I are sleeping in bed when all of a sudden we wake up in the middle- <laughs> Why has he got a picture of of um, Tom Arnold from Austin Powers 1. I know exactly what frame that is. He's about to say, hey, hey easy there, buddy. You're gonna blow out a lung. You're gonna blow your ring hole out or whatever the hell he says. And Austin's like shitting. What the hell did you eat? I know that scene very, very clearly. <laughs> Bruce Jew and me, the guy on here, Tyler, I think his name is, there's a lot of connection and similarity for me. I every the, All the pictures that he has on there, except for the Big Lebowski ones, which I've never seen, uh, I recognize all of them. Should I watch the Big Lebowski? Let me know. Then all of night to a very peculiar sound. Something that sounded like... <coughs> What the hell is that? The ceiling fan? Is the fan about to fall on top of us? I stumble out in the <laughs> dark in my underwear, start poking around when all of a sudden I find it. Oh, God damn it, it's a bat! Now this bat is messed up. It's laying on its neck with its feet up, looking like somebody's drunk uncle and shit. <laughs> I'm standing there like, what the hell? That's the sound a bat makes? I don't remember learning that shit in school. Yeah, it does. The bat goes, eat, 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 eat. Well, are you gonna pick it up or what? No, I'm not gonna pick it up. What if it fucking flies in my face or something? You're afraid of it flying in your face? Look, I don't know what bats do, all right? They're mean and they're neck. Man, I used to work in biosecurity and we would take phone calls from people who um, had, there was a particular, vi I can't remember the, even the name of it now, but there's a virus you can get from bats and we used to have to like talk people through like what to do with the bat, how to like store it, where to take it, who to send it to, like to get tested to see if it had this virus in it. So uh, yeah, kind of, and we got a lot of bats up where I live. I'm pretty familiar with them. Nasty, and I just don't fuck with bats, all right? I look over, and all of a sudden the bat is dead, and our cat Pooter's just sitting there like, hey, while you're sitting there being a big wuss, I uh, decided to kill the bat. And just like that, it was all over. The bat's dead, I didn't pee myself, and Pooter didn't get rabies. The end. That is, until a few mornings later, I'm in the kitchen about to make a pot of coffee, when all of a sudden, bam, here comes another bat. Now my dumbass at first thinks, oh my god, it's the same bat from the other night. Bat from the dead. <laughs> Fucking zombie bat trying to fly my face. I get on my hands and knees in the middle of my kitchen, looking like I'm a goddamn hot in a bank robbery. Slowly I start coming back to my senses. All right, maybe this isn't a zombie bat. Maybe it's just a different bat. We got two bats in the house? What, is somebody playing a fucking game of Jumanji in here or what? <laughs> you know, Peter's leaping around like a goddamn superhero throughout the house. Call yes. yourself, woman. I'll handle this. The whole time my wife is still upstairs in bed, totally oblivious to the chaos that's happening in the kitchen. So what the hell am I supposed to do in this situation? I'm not qualified to handle this. I need a professional like Steve Irwin or Jack Hanna. Fucking Ozzy Osbourne, for Christ's sake. Anyway, um... <laughs> Steve Irwin would catch the bat, relocate it, build it a house, find it a mate, and make sure that it's set for life. Steve Irwin is a treasure. Alexa, what are you supposed to do when you have a bat in the house? I don't know, dude. I don't with bats either. Eventually, the bat lands on a wall, and I use this opportunity to grab my trusty BB gun from the closet. So now I'm trying to Lee Harvey Oswald this bat with a BB gun. <laughs> I take the shot, and I hit it, but I don't kill it. I just anger the damn thing. Oh my god, you shot me? Now I'm really gonna fly in your fucking face. Ah! 
I lock myself in the bathroom like a scared old woman. I peek out of the door and I see that the bat is now in the living room right next to my TV. Well, now what am I gonna do? I can't risk shooting the bat and shatter my TV screen. I'm sure accidental shooting because of bat in house <laughs> isn't covered under the warranty. <laughs> what are the other things that is? Spilling natty light on it? Spilling natty light on it? I don't know what that means. Chucked an ashtray at it because the Steelers <laughs> lost it over time. <laughs> Warranty. So since a bat is now holding my television hostage, I decide that I have to catch it somehow. Well, what the hell am I gonna use to catch it? Well, how about a big fucking 12 foot net that we use to clean the pool? So there I am with this long ass unwieldy pool net in my house. Not a bad idea. Walter, I'm knocking stuff off the tables and shit. <laughs> Somehow I managed to snag this bat and its little foot or hoof or fucking claw, I don't know what the fuck a bat has, is stuck in the net. So now's my opportunity. I'm running throughout the house like the goddamn building's on fire. I make it to my front yard and I'm waving this goddamn pool net all over the place trying to get this thing free. My neighbor next door is on his porch looking at me like, the hell's this guy doing, catching butterflies? <laughs> I got a bat, I got a bat here. Uh, no, that's a fucking net, you idiot. Finally, the bat gets free and flies back to the seventh layer of hell or wherever the hell bats live. I walk back inside, now my wife's awake. Hey, why is there a rifle on the floor? And why is all of our shit broken? Uh, because we had another bat in the house, that's why. It flew in my face, it took our TV hostage, and I did the best I could, okay? And that is why I don't fuck with bats. Very good point. Wow, why you got two bats in your house in such a short period of time? How are they getting in? That's what I want to know. Are they living in the ceiling? Have you got like a whole bat colony going on in the series? In the in the ceiling? In the series? It doesn't make any sense. But now I'm really keen to see what Bat in the House 2, Bat with a Vengeance, is all about because, yeah, that would bother me. I, uh, uh... I've never, I've never really had, like, critters in the house. We just get big spiders, my cats eat them. Sometimes they vomit up a half-living cockroach. You know, it's just the typical uh, Australian life. Bat in the house too. Bat with a vengeance. Give it to me. All right. I don't know how else to say this, but uh, I'm getting real sick and tired of dealing with wild animals just making their way into my house any way they please. It seems like every couple of months or so, something sneaks its way inside, and now it's my job to chase it back outside with a coat hanger. I'm sick of it. And for those of you that aren't new to the channel, you might remember my cartoon about when we had a bat in the house. Well, guess what happened? That. I do remember that, thank you. That's right, we're talking Bat in the House Part 2, Bat with a Vengeance. Alright, so let's set the scene of this little incident. I'm in my basement, and I'm attempting to work out because, well, I'm trying to maintain my girlish figure. You know, sitting around making stick figure cartoons isn't exactly physically demanding, so I'm doing the best I can. Well, imagine my surprise when I notice that there's a bunch of tiny little turds on the carpet. And that's when I think, well, that's weird. Yeah, that's no good. Tiny little turd collection in the basement. How did these get here? And that's when I look up and see a dirty-ass little bat all upside down doing bat shit. Now my first reaction was to yell, Ah, oh, piss! It's back again! Because my dumbass just automatically Zombie assumed bat. that it was the same fucking bat from the last episode. And you know, he's back with a vengeance. So now this is an official ordeal that I have to deal with, <laughs> and I'm pretty pissed off about it. What the hell do I gotta do at this point? Get a goddamn restraining order against this thing? What the hell? Well then I think, you know what? To hell with this bat. I'm a grown ass man. I'm not gonna let some dirty little bat dictate my lifestyle with your bullshit face and your weird leather wings. I'm finishing my goddamn <laughs> workout. So there I am in my basement lifting weights, all paranoid as hell watching this bat out of the corner of my eye. Just what Have you ever had to have a shower when there's like a giant spider like on the roof or like high up on the wall? I've, I've like shaved my head and I'm just like looking at this thing while I'm doing it and uh, it's really, uh, you're just waiting for it to drop. They never drop, but you're just waiting for it to drop. Waiting for it to fly into my face and give me typhus or whatever the hell bats do. You can say what you want, but bats are fucking terrifying. I don't know what the exact statistics are. But there's like a 3% chance that this thing could be Dracula and bat form. I just don't have time to be dealing with that shit. Are you serious? So I finish my workout like the big man that I am. And now I choose to deal with the bat on my time. And this is where I decide to document the event with my iPhone. Like some kind of shitty Steve Irwin, if you will. Uh, now the good news is, is that we have a walkout <laughs> basement. You know what, Steve Irwin's such a great guy, he would be like, yeah, good work. As long as you don't harm the bat, then Steve Irwin should be giving you his blessing. But it was a little, that's a little bat. That's a little, little baby bat. That bat's parents haven't even been shot in an alleyway yet. From. I just need a weapon of some sort to protect myself. But what weapon should I use? At first I think, I know, a 30-06. That's perfectly suitable for this situation. I need a rifle. But then I'm like, no, 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 that's a bit extreme. I'm not storming the beaches of Normandy. This thing's the size of a fucking <laughs> hamster, for Christ's sake. So then I have a flashback to a few Wait. months ago where I was sitting on the couch drunk, shopping on Amazon like an idiot, and I decided to buy a full-size airsoft Tommy gun. Oh, yeah. 
yeah, that seems suitable for a 31-year-old man. Let's buy it. <laughs> well, well, well. In retrospect, that doesn't seem like such a stupid-ass purchase now. So here I am, approaching this oh. bat like I'm fucking SEAL Team 6, trying to threaten it with an automatic weapon. Clearly, you can see that the bat doesn't give two shits about me or my plastic submachine gun. Well, <laughs> God damn it! all right, time for plan B. Enter the 12-foot pool net, a.k.a. the Bat Capturer 9000. So here we are, take two. Notice I uh, still have the Tommy gun in one hand, just in case this thing morphs into a fucking Nasiferatu or some shit. Now, if you notice, the bat clearly doesn't want to go into the net. It just keeps, like, clicking at me like a broken garage door opener. Ugh, it keeps clicking at me. Now, I don't... It's using echolocation on you, bro. Look out. Stop it, you dick. I got squatter's rights. Go get a fucking eviction notice. Well, <laughs> God damn it, how am I going to coax this bat into this net? I'm running out of options here. I'm thinking back to all those shitty zoo books I read as a kid, trying to figure out what bats like. I start turning the lights off, thinking that might help. Does that piss you off less? So after like 15 minutes and like a half a dozen different methods, I finally get this goddamn thing into the net. And, uh, well, it's a little nerve-wracking to say the least. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh god! It's a goddamn vampire bat, what can I say? It's scary. So I run out to my backyard and try to <laughs> catapult this thing back into- This is neighbor watching. Now the bat won't leave the goddamn pool net. So now I'm swinging this 12 foot pool net around my backyard like a lunatic. My next door neighbor's probably watching through the windows like, uh, is this guy trying to catch butterflies or is he just on methamphetamine? <laughs> yeah, probably both, I guess, I don't know. Now I did manage to record this part of the story as well, but I uh, accidentally filmed the whole thing in the slow-mo setting on my iPhone, which means that the footage looks a lot more epic than it should. The thing looks like a fucking ending to a Disney movie for crap. Show me! I want to see this slow motion bat footage. Give it to me now! For Christ's sake. So without further ado, here's the conclusion of this shitty little story. It does have a happy ending. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Fly, little bat! Fly! <laughs> This is amazing editing, by the way. I love what he's done with this. <laughs> is he gone? Did he get out? Oh, he got out! <laughs> well done, old mate. Well done. Bat in the house too. Bat with a vengeance. That is... <laughs> <laughs> Ow! My cheeks and my face hurt <laughs> from smiling at that. That was amazing! That was so good! Oh, holy crap! Bat 2. Bat in the house 2. Bat with a vengeance. I love the fact that he documented it. Um, <laughs> I love the fact that the whole end part is on slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> he would have been, when he got that footage, he would have been like, why is this footage, like, 45 minutes long? I was out there for five minutes. <laughs> Tyler, Bruce Jew, you absolutely killed that. That was an amazing story. I can't relate to it. I can't relate to having bats in the house. Uh, I can't relate to accidentally <laughs> putting my phone on slow motion. But I can enjoy the hell out of this because this was just... Hilarious front to back. Both of these videos were hilarious front to back. These are both good Bruce Jew videos. Let me know in the comments what you want me to have a look at. Oh, there's a lady in the comments who keeps asking me to look at Artie's odds and ends. I'm, I'm going to. I swear I'm going to. It's it's a lot of videos. It's just it, it's not a lot of organizing, but it's it's kind of it's a lot. It's kind of a fiddly thing to do because I do them all in one video because they're all very short. So Artie's odds and ends will be coming at some point. But let me know what other Bruce Jew videos you want to have a look at. Thank you to everyone who subscribed because they like my Bruce Drew reactions and as always everyone be well stay safe look after your friends see you in the next video peace